To a non-runner, it may appear that we run with our legs, but it's only until we run out of breath. So when a beginner runner says, that's it, I can't run anymore, it has nothing to do with legs, because in fact, we run with our hearts, and today, you will learn why. You see, we are alive because blood circulates through our body, providing our cells with everything they need to function. Blood carries oxygen and nutrients to our tissues and absorbs carbon dioxide and waste products away from them. Our bloodstream is like a never-ending convoy of construction trucks that deliver materials to the building site and take debris to the dumpster. The reason a lot of novice runners start losing their breath so quickly is because their muscles don't get enough oxygen. Actually, we use only 10% of our lung capacity, so the bottleneck must be somewhere in our cardiovascular system. That in fact transports this oxygen. But let's start from the very beginning. Before we examine the whole system, let's take a closer look at our heart. We all use social media every day and now and then click on the heart symbol while scrolling through our Facebook or Instagram feed. But where does this depiction of a heart shape come from? I've found quite a few explanations. Some claim it resembles the shape of a female buttocks, while others say it's the shape that courting swans form with their necks, or even the shape of an ivy leaf. But what's interesting is that whatever its origin is, this shape looks nothing like a real human heart. In my opinion, a more correct representation of our heart is this. So please don't forget to click on it to keep the heart of our channel beating. Before tackling the cardiovascular system, let's talk about our heart and its anatomy. To help you visualize it, I'll perform a small surgery on this tennis ball. I'm going to cut it in half The heart's wall consists of three layers. The innermost layer is very smooth so the blood flows easily along its surface. The outer layer is also smooth and very robust, and between those two layers is the layer formed by cardiac muscle cells, whose name you may be familiar with. It's called myocardium. So our heart is a muscle, but how strong is it? The heart's main function is to keep the blood pressure so that blood constantly circulates through the body. Therefore, our heart is a pump. And as a pump, one of its main characteristics is stroke volume. Stroke volume is the amount of blood that a heart pumps out in each beat. It is known that in an average adult, this amount is about 80 milliliters of blood. About this much. And how much blood does our heart pump in one minute? Like I just said, it pumps about 80 milliliters of blood during one contraction. And we also know that a normal heart rate is between 60 to 90 beats per minute. So let's take 75 BPM as an average. After doing some simple math, we'll find that in one minute our heart can pump about 6 liters of blood. And as we know, the average adult has about 5 liters of blood in their body which in fact means that during only one minute, our heart pumps all the blood in our body. And now let's see how fast it actually works. There are six liters in this bottle and I'm going to fill this one in a minute. But that was a resting heart rate. And what happens when our heart starts beating faster? In my video on slow running, I told you that your heart achieved its maximum stroke volume at about 60% of your maximum heart rate, which was about 120 beats per minute. Let's say that in our experiment, its stroke volume is 100 milliliters, which means that now we have not just one, but two bottles of water. 12 liters that our heart pumps in one minute. 12 liters per minute is 6 liters per 30 seconds. Let's see how fast your heart will pump. <sighs> this is how much blood your heart pumps if you're a non-runner or a novice runner. However, 
the heart of a well-trained athlete is larger and stronger. It can pump from 25 to 40 liters in one minute. I have 32 liters of water here, and this is the amount of blood that a trained heart pumps in one minute. Physiologically, an average individual is as different from an elite athlete as a human would be different from an alien. In theory, the lower uh, your resting heart rate is, the more efficiently your heart works. Many athletes have a resting heart rate at about 40 beats per minute. Running helps to increase both the thickness of the heart muscle, the myocardium, and the heart's volume. We don't want only our myocardium to grow thicker, because as this thickness of a heart wall increases, it in turn causes the heart's volume to decrease. That's why slow running is so beneficial. At about 60% of your maximum heart rate, your heart reaches maximum stroke volume. And while you are running at this heart rate for one, two, three hours at a time, your heart muscle as a result both stretches and increases in volume. Okay, let's say your heart is large and well trained, but increasing the stroke volume is no good as long as the amount of blood your vessels can deliver remains the same. Our heart is part of our cardiovascular system, and having a big well-trained heart is practically useless without having a strong, extensive, and healthy blood transportation network. The better developed your circulatory system is, the easier it is for your heart to pump blood to all your organs. That's why a well-developed cardiovascular system means a strong heart and a well-developed blood transportation networks. Resting muscles don't require much oxygen. Their oxygen demand is covered if your heart pumps 6 liters of blood per minute. But when you run, your muscles need much more oxygen and nutrients. The amount of oxygen you can utilize is like this watering can, and its size depends on a perimeter called VO2 max, which is your maximum oxygen consumption during intense exercise. If you're a novice, this amount will increase even if you run slowly, but after a while you'll need to start high intensity training to further improve your VO2 max. And if you're a professional athlete like Ilyud Kipchoge and you had these two cans and this whole field to water, 